Hey, here's another binomial expansion problem, 1.2.5. The coefficient of x to the 8 and x to the 10th are in a ratio of 1 to 2, which means if I multiply the coefficient of x to the 8th, that will equal the coefficient of x to the 10th. So here's the binomial, 1 plus 3x to the n. So let's just start. So 2 times the coefficient of x to the 8. Well, the coefficient of x to the 8 is n choose 8, 3x to the 8. We can ignore the 1 because 1 to the n minus 8, no matter what it's going to be, no matter what n is, it's just going to be 1. So this is going to equal n choose 10, 3x to the 10. And you can probably tell that I have x's in here. I can't shouldn't have x's because I'm dealing with just the coefficients, so I'll just get rid of the x's. This coefficient should equal this coefficient. All right, so now we can cancel. This will be gone, and this will be gone, and we'll be left with um, 3 squared on this side, or 9. And so we have 2, n choose 8, which is equal to 9, uh, and choose 10. So I'm going to go straight to my calculator and I'll type in 2 parentheses x prob down to number 3 8 and 9 math prob number 3 10 and I didn't put in an x here. Let's go insert x no, that didn't work. Insert 9 and a parentheses there. Okay, so now what we're going to see when we push the table is a bunch of zeros, and I'll talk about why. So you see a bunch of zeros here because 3 choose 8 doesn't make sense. 3 choose 8. It, all the way until you see um, 8 choose 8 which is 1 times 2, which is 2. So we can go down, and we just need to see when we first equal number, which is right here at 13. So we can see that if n equals 13, the coefficients are equal. So n equals 13.